All right, so in case you don't know, Roblox, you know, added like a bunch of these cool audio stuff. So we have like audio emitters, audio listener, which is, <laughs> sounds cool. We have wires, like what is a wire, right? And yeah, you know, just a lot more other stuff. Now, what I want to tell you in this video, right, is I want you to fully understand how this new audio system works. And it's actually very simple. So it's, it's, it's like brain dead easy, okay? But the thing is, you might not know it unless you've like read through the documentation. But if, like, like, let's be honest, like if you're, you're scrolling on YouTube, you likely don't just read through Roblox documentation in your spare time, but you do watch videos, right? So I, I do it for you, okay? Um, and by the way, file beta features and then like enable the audio from there, okay? Because it's by default, it's not available because it's a beta feature, blah, blah, you get the point, okay? What I want to show you in this video I'm not actually going to be going over the items because I, I have a video that did that already. I It's some like very long title like, oh, 50 new audio instances or um, it's, I don't know, it's, it's titled something stupid. But what I want to show you in this video are the three concepts of input, output, and waves, okay? Or like audi audio waves, okay? We can call them whatever we want. And then wires uh, are the things that connect them, okay? So let, let me explain kind of what I mean. We have something like an audio emitter, okay? So you might be like, okay, this probably emits audio. So I'm pretty sure you're supposed to add this onto a part. And then what it does is it waits for some audio signal, right? That was the word I was looking for, audio signal. And once it gets the audio signal, then it does something with it, right? This is literally like the key baseline of this new audio, right? You have audio signals, which are sent out from something and then are received by something. And th these two items, they're connected via the, the wire item, okay? So let me show you. We have the audio emitter, okay? Which emits audio, very simple. But to emit audio, you actually need a signal, right? Well, then we have the audio, audio player. And what this does is it gets the asset ID. And then what this does is it sends out a signal, okay? So if I wanted to, for example, connect both of these, so if I wanted to say, okay, audio player sends out a wave, which then gets transferred over to the audio emitter, I would add a wire item, okay? And I would say the source instance, source is where the, the wave comes from, which is the player. And then target instance is where the, the target that we want the audio signal to go to, which is the audio emitter. So now it's connected. So what this is going to do is it's gonna connect the audio player and you know the signal that it sends out to shoot that signal onto the target, which is the audio emitter, okay? That's that's that that fair that's fairly simple. Okay. Now when we look at some other stuff, okay, we have something like an audio listener. And so what this audio listener does is it listens for like the sound around it. So you know, like whatever the audio emitters are playing. And then it basically, you know, takes that sound and then sends it as a signal, which means that this item sends out an audio signal, okay? Which then you can play with like an, an audio emitter, right? And then you know you connect them, them with wires. So the source is the audio listener because it listens the audio and then it emits like the signal and the signal contains whatever audio that this audio listener is hearing in the, the present moment, right? in, the, in the 3D world around it. And then target obviously is the audio emitter, which now they're connected. Now, whatever this listens, this will emit. That should be fairly simple, okay? And the last thing to discuss is that certain, certain items act as both. So they can both accept input and give input immediately right it's stuff like effects right so for example something like audio distortion so this will distort the audio okay make it sound like you know a little um a, a little crazy if you will right a little silly so let's say we have an audio where is it again audio player right so what we can do is we can have a wire and you know which i'll just place it inside the audio player this is just for like organization purposes you don't act, you don't actually have to like you know place it inside the audio player but then what I could do is I could say, okay, audio player is going to send out a signal, right? So then the wire, so the source is the audio player because it's sending out a signal. And then it's going to send that signal to the audio distortion. So it's going to send the signal to the audio distortion, which is going to distort that signal and then have that signal ready to be sent out to something else, okay? And then I could have an audio emitter, right? And then I could have another wire which I'll add in the audio, audio emitter, which says, okay, the source is now the audio distortion and the target is the audio emitter. So as you, I, like literally what's going on here is, because remember the example I showed before where we made it go from the audio player to the audio emitter, we're doing the exact same thing here, but just adding a distortion 
midway, right? If I can, if I can visualize this with parts, actually, I, th I think I think that would that be, um, <laughs> I think that'd be pretty fun. But let's pretend that this is the connection, okay? So this is gonna be our player, and this is the emitter, and then this is what's it's it's the wire that's connecting them, right? What we did before was we said, okay, so the audio player, right? Uh, we connected the audio emitter and the audio player with a wire, and we said the audio player sends out a signal to the audio emitter. And what we're doing by adding the audio distortion is we're just putting it in the middle, right? So now the audio player sends out a signal to the distortion, and then the distortion sends the signal, like the, the distorted signal, onto the audio emitter. So it's just the same thing, except we just added a thing in the middle. And because we added it in the middle, well, now we need two wires, right? Which, I, I like, it's the same block, right? But, like, just use your imagination, right? This is why we have two wires, right? Because we split it with an item. So we have to connect this to this, and then this to that. That's two connections. That's two wires. Just in case you were confused about why we needed two, two wires, right? Which, like, seems fairly self-explanatory, but look, you never know, okay? So that's kind of the idea. Um, again, input, output audio signals, connect those with, with wires, okay? For more in-depth information on the actual, you know, like new audio system, do check out my video, okay? This is where I would plug my $14 courses in the description, but let's be real, bro. No one really cares, okay? You want um, to see amazing wire discussion, okay? So I will, I will rate the wire 9 out of 10, okay? It's a very, very cool item. I think it looks pretty cool. I don't know what, what else to say, okay? So we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.